Good morning, potential graduates of 2023. My name is Mrs. Young. I'm one of your graduation committee advisors, and I'm here today to go through with you some information about graduation. So today, this year's graduation day is set for Wednesday, June 7th, 2023, and every one of you should now have a booklet with information about graduation. If you take a look at the first page, you'll see that it outlines information specific to that day. So our graduation mass is taking place at Annunciation Parish at 8.45 a.m. Parents and guests are welcome to attend that Mass, so we recommend you get there for around 8.30 to get a good seat. Following graduation Mass, we will have a brunch at Hamilton Convention Centre. The parents and guests are not invited to the brunch. This is for graduates only. It starts at 10.30 a.m., which is immediately following the Mass. The next thing you will see listed there is the graduation rehearsal. This follows the graduation brunch and it is imperative that every single one of you be at the rehearsal. This is where you will be lined up in order and given your seat and row number as well as receive your ticket for entry for the evening. Once again, the rehearsal is immediately following the brunch. After the rehearsal, you will have time to go home and get ready for the evening and then the graduation ceremony is when you're returning to First Ontario Concert Hall. It begins at 7 p.m., but we recommend that all graduates arrive at 6.15. Once again, all graduates will require a ticket for entry as well as guests. Dinner dance this year will take place on Thursday, June 15th. In order to attend dinner dance, you must participate in the graduation ceremony. Dinner dance will be held at Leuna Station. The reception begins at 5.30 p.m., followed by dinner at 6, and then the dance from 8 until 11. So eligibility to participate in graduation. You must ensure that you check the potential graduates list, which will be posted outside of student services to, in order to participate in graduation. If you have any questions as to whether or not you are eligible for graduation, you should see your guidance counselor, either Ms. Pereira or Mr. Bozzo. To qualify for your diploma, you need to have earned 30 credits as well as 40 hours of Christian service. This has changed from last year. Again, you need 40 hours of Christian service. If you are unsure about your hours, you need to see Mr. Pongetti he will be able to help you with volunteer opportunities throughout the year, and you must ensure that those hours are completed and submitted by March 1st. Okay, so March 1st, you must have your Christian service hours in. On the LMS in March, there will be a graduation awards form that you can fill out. If you want to be considered for graduation awards, you must complete the Microsoft form prior to Friday, March 24th. Okay? Late submissions will not be considered. We need to collect heights from every great graduate in order to uh, um, place an order for gowns. So you must submit your height on a form, again, available on the LMS by Friday, January 20th. Okay, so the graduation height form is available at this present time. I suggest you go online and complete it as soon as possible so that everyone's height has been submitted. Even if you're not sure if you are going to graduate, still complete the height form. That way we have your height, regardless of whether or not you think you will be graduating. Valedictorian. Your class valedictorian uh, will have to fill out an application again on the LMS and it will be due by April 10th. Okay, see more speeches and voting will take place on April 18th. Once again, all information will be posted on the LMS and you can see Ms. Shields if you have any questions about valedictorian. Graduation photos. I'm sure you have seen Ms. Susie around the building ensuring that people are booking their grad photos. So grad photos begin in a week from today. So be sure you book your appointment. To do that, you must go to the website stm.school. 
There is a cash sitting fee of $10 due at the time of the appointment. And it's asked that you wear a white collar top that will go underneath the gown that they will put on you. Again, schedule times are November 7th to the 11th, November 14th to the 18th, and he will come back to the school to do retakes in February from the 21st to the 24th. Miss Susie has asked that when you book your appointment, you take a photo of the confirmation with the, uh, the appointment time because that information cannot be accessed again once that booking has occurred. So please take a photo of that appointment time so you do not forget when your appointment is. It is also asked that you book your appointment time during your lunch spare or after school. Do not book during your class time as to interrupt your learning. Graduation quotes. To submit a graduation quote, once again, you must complete a Microsoft form that can be found on the LMS. Okay. The deadline for grad quotes is Friday, January 20th. And if you have any questions, you're asked to see Mr. Caterino. All right, graduation fees. So each graduate will receive a guest ticket for the grad ceremony. These tickets are included in your graduation fee. Everyone is guaranteed two tickets. The graduation ceremony is reserved seating and all guests will require a ticket to enter First Ontario Concert Hall on the night of June 7th. The only way to pay for your grad fees is through School Cash Online, and the fees will open on Monday, November 7th. They will close on April 2nd. Tickets will be distributed on a first come, first serve basis. Therefore, the earlier sub you submit your fees, the better seats your guests will receive. Lost tickets will not be replaced, and all graduates are guaranteed again two tickets for their guests. That does not include the ticket that you will receive as a graduate yourself. So the fee is $100 and what is included in this is your Mass at Annunciation Parish, the rental of Hamilton Convention Center, the brunch at Hamilton Convention Center, a souvenir for each graduating student, the rental of First Ontario Concert Hall, the graduation program, the ceremony tickets, the cap, the V-stole, the tassel and the gown which are all for you to keep and any flowers that we will have at First Ontario Concert Hall. So again, a $100 fee paid by School Cash Online, okay? After April 2nd, there will be a $10 late fee charged, okay? And no fees will be accepted past April 14th. If by May 1st, you actually do not qualify for Ontario Secondary School Diploma, so you are no longer on the grad list, we will issue you a refund. So we suggest that you pay your fee early, even if you're unsure if you'll be graduating, because you will receive a refund should you not make the grad list. So dinner dance, dinner dance is $70 per ticket. Online sales for that will occur Monday, May 1st and end Friday, June 2nd. Guest tickets are also $70. It's school cash online, again, for the guest ticket. Those sales won't occur until Monday, May 22nd. And again, they will end on Friday, June 2nd. Um, in order to purchase your dinner dance tickets, so you must participate in graduation. So even if you are not, or if you are on the grad list, but you choose to not participate in graduation, you cannot attend the dinner dance, okay? So you must be a participant of the graduation ceremony and all guest tickets will need VP approval prior to purchase. Okay, the final page in your booklet is just a summary of those important dates. It goes through everything that we have just gone through together. Okay. All of this information is also available on the LMS and the school's website. So if you lose your booklet, right, there are digital copies available on the LMS as well as the school's website. If you have any questions regarding graduation, I will tell you the teachers that you should um, seek out in the building. So graduation specifically, myself, Mrs. Young, or Mrs. Paradisi. Valedictorian, Ms. Shields. Dinner dance, Ms. Stocko. Photos and quotes, Mr. Caterina or Ms. Susie. Eligibility, Ms. Pereira in student services. And Christian service hours, Mr. Pongetti. And finally, Grade 12s, the Canadian Blood Services are in desperate need of blood and are looking for donors who are 17 years or older. 
If you are interested in donating, sign-up sheets can be found in Student Success. There will be more information to come. And if you have any questions about donating blood, please see Ms. Alonji or Ms. Di Giovanni in Student Success. Thank you for your time this morning.